Hey y'all, what's up? Happy Freaky Friday, y'all. It's your girl again coming to do another quick Nollywood reveal. Okay, and what better way to get the weekend jumping off with a movie titled, ha, holla, Rough Riders, y'all. Yes, okay. <laughs> they just gonna go ahead and put it out there. <laughs> Alright, so when I first saw the title, I was like, oh lord, is this like soft porn? Because I'm not trying to watch that. Um, <laughs> but the title is is kind of just a metaphor. It, it doesn't really have any anything to do with that kind of Rough Riders. But um, not knocking that either. <laughs> so anyway, it stars um, Nadia Bahari, um, Prince David Osei, Martha, and Koma and Scott Roberts, and along with a few others. Um, it is, <sighs> brace yourself, four hours long, y'all. You heard me, four hours long. You know what, actually, it's like four hours and 12 minutes, so over four hours. Um, so, yeah, it's a, good, it's a good one, but it is a long one. Um, and the story is based on in Nigeria and Ghana. It is goes around um, Joan and Dave's marriage. They've been married for quite a long time. They have a daughter together, but Dave has been cheating on her, and you know, not really being committed to their marriage, and he's doing all kinds of stuff, coming in late. Um, running around, you know, all the things that he should not be doing if he's married. And Joan is just tired of it. You know, she don't know what to do. She don't want to break up her family, but she doesn't want to stay with a man who doesn't want to be faithful to her. Well, just when she can't say any more, in walks his ex-girlfriend. They bump into her at a store, and um, the character is played by Martha. And this ex-girlfriend is madly in love with him, well, was madly in love with him, and come to find out she still is. It's like, get over it. I mean, <laughs> you broke up for a reason. Um, she is madly in love with him, and she is not going to stop at anything to get him married or not with the child or with any child. She wants Dave. So she begins seducing him. Of course he falls for it because, y'all, I just say, you know, he's a cheater, so why not cheat again? Um, he falls for it. They begin this affair. And while this is all this is going on, Joan becomes pregnant. And, um, you know, she eventually loses the baby and has a miscarriage. And she's just like you know what Dave you made me lose this baby because I was stressing over you and what you were doing so she begins a little plot of her own and she you know gives Dave a little bit you know of his own medicine she done got her a boyfriend okay y'all not only does she got a boyfriend she got him living up in the house holla <laughs> you know he come Dave come home from the club uh, and he's um, she's up in bed with him. Let me find out that Joan's new boyfriend punches Dave out in his own bedroom, y'all. That's how they roll in Nigeria and Ghana. Who gets punched out in their own bedroom? <laughs> so it's that's a funny little moment. So anyway, you know, Dave is like, oh my gosh, Joan, you know my my sweet wife. How could she do this to me? And Joan's like, you know what? You did it to me, and you know, way worse. I done lost my baby. And here I am, you know what I'm saying? So he's like, you know, I got to get rid of the ex-girlfriend. And he's, so he, you know, breaks it off with her, but she ain't trying to hear it. Um, she's like, nope, um, I lost you one time, I'm not going to lose you again. So she begins all this stuff, you know, saying she's pregnant and, you know, needs for him to come over for whatever reason. And he's not trying to have it. And he changes his number, and she gets the number, and all this stuff. But my thing is, you know, if you don't want to talk to someone, you don't need to talk to them. Why do you keep answering the phone? <laughs> That's what I never get about people. Like, if you see them calling, why are you answering to tell them, don't call me? Don't answer. Don't get the point. You know what I'm saying? Just leave it alone. But, I don't know. I can't speak for others. So, um, all this goes down, and... Dave is just, you know, all stressed out because he wants to be with Joan, but 
Joan is doing her own thing and then the ex-girlfriend is like putting it on him you know and he's just like oh, I don't know what to do so it's a good one there is pregnancies miscarriages deceit lie cheating um someone can tries to commit suicide um someone gets locked in the closet okay holla <laughs> that's how they that's how they're doing it so um i advise that you go ahead and check this one out here is the cover again rough riders it comes in two discs four hours and 12 minutes long um i don't know if you ain't got nothing to do Maybe you can sit there for four hours or you'd be like me and watch them bits and pieces because I got two kids. I don't not have time to sit there <laughs> for four hours straight. So it's well worth it though. Um, it was well acted and it's high drama. So if y'all like that, that's probably a good one. Check it out. And check me out. Thank you so much for um, watching my channel and I appreciate all the love and support and come back later because I will be having some other reviews um, on Nollywood and Gollywood and have a great Freaky Friday weekend y'all. Freaky Friday. Freaky Friday. Hey. Hey. Alright y'all just a little bit. I ain't gonna give y'all too much. Alright. Bye.